señor. Merci por sorry. Please. won't get away from me this time. I've spent too much powder and blood to bring you here. I'll frame your face in a noose and hang it up for everyone to see. Oh, spare him, Commandante. He fought for us. Spare him. So he'll lead you in another revolt against my taxes? No, no. We'll find gold for the taxes. We'll take him to his home beyond mountains. You'll take him home this afternoon. There's his carriage. No. 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 You forgot to say, please. Remember, he comes from a noble family. We are waiting, outlaw. If you... Please! Commandante! 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 I bring news. A governor. A, a new governor from Spain. Just arrived in San Diego. What? A governor over us? Who is he? The whole province is his. By the king's decree. You fool, hold your tongue before this crowd. Chato, Alcalde, Gaspara, come here. And the province of Santa Cruz, by royal warrant, is given to General Palma. What? To be owned and ruled by him and by his heirs forever. And in all things, the governor is your absolute ruler. As I am his, signed Charles, the king. So, that's what I get for deserting Austria to serve Spain? Absolute ruler? Over me? After I've spent seven years in Santa Cruz? Does he think I stand for that? is coming along the San Diego road. If Zorro reaches him, we may all hang. Clean it, Commandante. 
Vámonos. Sorry, but Zorro's in these woods. Zorro? Are you sure? He caught my driver. Sergeant, double the guard around the inn. Shoot anything that moves. The governor! The governor! This be the governor, then angels have turned politicians. chasing a mouse. I'll hang him within a month. Our oh, landlord, what's for supper? Begging your worship's pardon, there is no supper. What? Are you an innkeeper or are you an idiot? Get supper. I cannot, if it please your lordship. I sent a driver to town for a fine supper and the supper was coming on the cart. When Zorro tied up the driver, sir, and Zorro ate the supper. Zorro! Stop my gullet. Zorro! I'll hang him next week. Uh, if it please, Your Excellency, I have a simple supper in my box which would be honored to stop the gullet of a governor. And who are you? Don Diego Vega, gentleman pauper. News of your coming reached me in Mexico. I hasten north to join your train. I'm sorry, but I've no use for men who smell of perfume. You can start south again at once. Here's some gold for your trouble. Be what the guard posted, Captain. Guard? What guard? Double guard, sir, against Zorro. Zorro, all I hear is that cursed name. Dismiss your guard. No, no. Please, sir. He'll kill us in our beds. With no guards in sight, he may be fool enough to try. Then I'll have him for supper. Hey there, guard. Stand by here for orders. Double time. Won't you sit by the fire? Thank you. Gracious lady, uh, would you accept the fare of one in such um, bad order here? With pleasure, sir. I can scarcely tell you how tired I am of men that smell of horses. Landlord, plates for three. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, Don Diego. And uh, perhaps during dinner, you could persuade your father how valuable I'd be to have around. Perhaps. And what shall I say you're best at? Well, I dance all known dances. I play cards with great skill, cheating only when absolutely necessary. I invent all the amount of stories that other men tell. And I yield to no one in the new world. That kissing lady's hands. Permit me. Father! Forgive my father's rudeness, Don Diego. He's playing soldier. Didn't I order you to leave this in? Landlord! Remove him in his baggage. But, Father, it's night. There's no other inn. There may be wolves about. Wolves? Oh, thank you, my child. I should have thought of that myself. You're a tasty bait, sir, and there is a wolf. Zorro. Oh, no, Excellency, do not turn me with Zorro out into these woods. Father, this is monstrous. Captain, remove him. No, no, Excellency. <laughs> now then, follow him, but at a safe distance, keeping well out of sight. You are the trap jaw set to strike when Zorro takes the bait. Father, I beg you, he may be killed. There's an outlaw in these woods. He's led a native upright. He must be killed. And by whatever means comes best to hand. Follow him, but see that the outlaw doesn't injure the poor fool. Si, senor. Take this. 
And if you do the job well, keep it for your own. Go ahead. He's taken the bait already. Toro! Toro! In a mask! He shot at me! Where? They're in the woods behind the inn. After men! Ten goldfish for the one who takes it! Please, please, it's only I. Uh, has something happened? We've cracked the outlaw. Come on. Sir. You put it mildly, senorita. But may I suggest you lower your voice? My father is enormously opposed to serenades. Your father has no ear tonight for love songs. He's out destroying a rogue while his daughter is doing marvelous damage to another. You're no rogue. Your blood's too thin. Why aren't you out there with them stalking Zorro? That's the quickest way to win my father. And what's the quickest way to win his daughter? Isabella! Don't listen to his rubbish. You're impudent, sir. I'm probably a knave. I know it, madame. Women have made me so. Honest men bore them. They have snared the rogue. Come, we must see him squirm. Isabella, Santa Cruz is yours now. Govern it well. Now don't mourn for me. Zorro, hang him. Yours. Then. Senorita, for the last time I beg of you, turn back to San Diego. You may turn back if you prefer. And welcome. Believe me, along the road to Santa Cruz rides danger, even death. Along the road where first we find a priest shall lie my father's grave. But the natives in Santa Cruz are in rebellion. The garrison may not be loyal to a woman. Return to your own country. Seek soldiers from Spain. Those are my hills by warrant of the king. The Peons are my people. Santa Cruz, my country. I shall not turn back. 
Ready, Captain. Ready. Forward! Welcome to Santa Cruz. I prefer welcome from a worthier than you. Where's the priest and my commandante? I'll fetch them for you, Governor. Get dressed, man. The governor's here. Governor? Governor's dead. How do you know? You weren't there. <laughs> no, I, I know everything in Santa Cruz. A messenger wrote from the inn last night. Then why aren't you shaved and waiting in the plaza to meet the new governor, his daughter? Daughter? Hmm. The decree said nothing about it. Daughter? What she want here? For breakfast, a priest to bury her father. For lunch, Zorro's head on a pike staff. She does, eh? Thinks she can give me orders. I'll get my hands on her and governor with a lash. Bravo. There's no more bracing treat than beating women. Of course, it will cost you your head. Oh, uh, what? The Queen of Spain is her aunt. And the Queen detests having her nieces flogged by the soldiery. Open, Don Diego. Gentle governor, be patient. The commandant is not himself today. Get him to pay his respects to me at once. And bring the priest to see on my father's rest. Or forfeit his commission. Dear lady, uh, he lies wounded. By Zaro. The outlaw ambushed the San Diego road to seize your coach. The commandant drove him off. A thousand humble pardons. I shall commend him to the king. The first courageous man I found in Santa Cruz. The priest is busy at the brave man's bedside. He'll come directly the wounds are bandaged. I'll wait for him in the chapel. But there's no priest here. Now when none appears, she'll ask questions about... about those wounds of mine. The church has sent three priests to Santa Cruz. Now when none appears to bless her father's parting, She'll question bloodier wounds than yours. What are you hinting at? Who are you? Wait. If you could find a priest to read the funeral, then something might happen to him to stop her questions. Something like death. That's it. If Zorro killed him... Zorro won't touch a priest. Oh. See here, I don't kill priests. What makes you think I've got a priest anyway? Who are you? Don Diego Vega, I came from Mexico to enter the governor's service. Now that I'm here and the governor is not, I'll enter yours. Go back to Mexico. I have no use for a lady's mate. Not even one who could secure Santa Cruz for you? With all its lands and ruling power forever? And lawfully? No. How lawfully? By marriage to the late governor's daughter. Oh, no. If she's the king's niece, she'll not stoop to a soldier. Her mother did. The queen's sister. She married a soldier. One of the king's great captains, like yourself. Take heart. You're not the ugliest man she's ever seen. Hold your tongue. Oh, you'd strike me. You see, you have no manners. But I'll teach you manners. Graces. The sweet considerations that a woman loves. I'll do your wooing for you. Songs, sighs of passion, jests and poetry. You have the savage strength. I have the grace. Together, man, we'll marry her. Together, we'll own the province. We? I'll own it, you mincing mouse. I'll marry her. Good. Fetch the priest. 
Go to the chapel. If there's a priest in town, I'll send him after you. Mercy, what have I done? Nothing. That's just to keep my hand in, in case I have to lash the life out of some fool who would betray me. God's blessing on the meeting. Per omnia sacra sacra lorum. Amen. Father, the day we've prayed and planned for is at hand. Never again will the peons be enslaved for taxes. Oh, God be praised. The commandati's rule is over. We have a most wise, a most lovely, and a most beautifully spoiled governor. Her father was sent from Spain. <laughs> He's not ahead. Double back into the rock and spread out. Come on up. They found the governor dying outside the inn. With my mark on him. Yours? But who did it? I don't know. But I do know a man who would have been hanged for misrule, thieving, and slavery if the governor had lived. The commandante. Of course, the commandante. And to protect himself, he fixed the blame on me. I'll hang him for it. I'll play the fool with both of them until I can show the girl the evils of his rule. Lord, take the trail to the right. Quick, take my horse. Ride to the hills. Inform the peons. Build the signal fires. When Lady Isabella learns how taxes are collected, she'll want to lead her own people in rebellion. God's blessing on you, Don Diego. Lord, to the left. Look sharp. Not big. Sorrow, the outlaw, by the left flank. Sorrow, left. Uh, did they catch the outlaw? No. They run in circles like children playing blind man's buff. Take me to the commandante, wounds or no wounds. Uh, yes, senorita. Lady 
Isabella's coming. Steve, let her bar the door off. Triple bars wouldn't keep her out. Here, give me these bandages. Wounded. Yes, me lady. He's lucky to be living. Zorro's a fiend lady. Be still, Don Diego. Summon your garrison. Set them a single duty. Death to this outlaw. He who delivers him at my feet, dead or alive, may take what lands he will. Gold, anything his heart desires. Anything? My father dying left me all he had. Power, land, money, and a debt of vengeance. I'll pay it with all I have, even my life. My That's Papa again. For weeks he's been trying to twitter his way into your graces. Send him away. Tell him I'm riding with the Commandant to inspect Hill Patrol, posted against Zara. You are like an innocent dove to me. Come here. Look at your suitor. Are like stars that shine in the sky above. Your sighs are the same that come from a cooing dove. The smile on your face, your style and your grace entrance me. True, my darling, if you'd romance me into my arms, I'd gather the charms I dream about. Oh, my innocent dog, can't you tell me you love me? Can't you tell me that I am the one, the one? My hill patrols, Commandante. We leave at once. Uh, but how did you like my singing? I loved it. It made me smile for the first time in weeks. Why do you interrupt me? The slave, sir, who still won't pay the taxes. Captain Vargas has brought him to the plaza. The flea-brained fool. My orders will wait for night. Go ahead. Wait for me. The slave's train is no sight for Lady Isabella's eyes. You ride with her. Keep to the hills. Under no circumstances let her come near the plaza. She's affected by my suit. Did you see her pass me this flower? I swear she's affected. She's in a fever heat of love. God. Then I'll propose to her today. No, not yet. You'll scare the wits out of her. Gently, gently. To be sure, gently. Just as you've instructed me. Watch. 
dearest lady, love has enslaved my simple soldier's heart. No, no, no. A simple soldier's heart? That's what you've taught me. On your knees. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. I languish in darkness for one smile from you. She smiles. The lady smiles. That smile shatters my chains. I dare to hope my suit is not in vain. Sweet, gracious lady, will you be my wife? Well, I... Uh... You will! Congratulations, gentlemen. I'm sure you'll both be very happy. Well, I... Uh, yeah, you, uh, yes, yes. I, I was taken with a fainting fit. The commandant, he caught me. I, I feel much better now, thank you. I, I, I'm called away by duty. Right with him. Uh, I'll join you in half an hour. Smelling salt? Thank you. What was that nonsense? What are you doing in Santa Cruz? Who are you, anyway? No one, as I've told you before. Just a man who lives by his wits, which, feeble as they are, are stronger than his body. Do you feel strong enough to mount this horse? Or shall I ask it to lie down? Why, uh, I don't feel like riding at all. Let's take a walk and meet the commandante in the plaza. Oh, I have military business in the hills and no time to waste walking. Guido. I'll hold Don Diego still. You lift his foot up to it. What? I ride that horse? Oh, no. Last week he bolted and broke a man's neck. Give him a piece of sugar. He'll love you as a brother. Do you think I dare? No, but do it anyway. I'm in a hurry. Goodbye, brother. Now we'll have to go to the plaza stables and get a gentler horse. Strange, but that's just the way you affect me sometimes. What is it, do you suppose? Could it be uh, brotherly love? you willfully withhold the legal tax. No, no. We have no gold. We cannot pay. You're right. You have the money, and if you don't pay by tomorrow morning, your sons will go to the desert mines to work till they die. <laughs> you have till dawn to buy their freedom. My paymaster will sit all night at the stockade. One gold piece. The legal tax buys the man's life. Put him in a stockade. We no need of going to the plaza. I'll ride that horse. If uh, you don't mind the side saddle. No, please. Come to the stables. You've all day for your inspection. That horse killed a man. All the more reason for a woman to march through. Bring the beast to me. Uh, no, I beg of you. Don't break your neck. I have important matters to discuss with you. Uh, your marriage. Marriage? To you, I presume. If you don't mind, I'll break my neck. Oh, no. Uh, not to me. Uh, will you, um... Well, that is to say, I've never asked anyone this before, but I think you know what I mean. Uh, will you marry... Uh, will you marry the Commandante? The Commandante? Yes. He put you up to this. Does he think I'm an idiot child? Oh, no, no. He knows you're no child, but he thought that if you would... If he thought less of lovemaking and more of catching outlaws, he'd be an abler soldier. And I'm going to tell him that... Oh, well, please don't tell him what I've said. I, I'd lose my position. You and your position. The fawning servant of another's lovemaking. What if you lost it? What if you were forced to be a man and earn your bread by honest work? What if you met a woman you desired and had to make love to her for yourself? Well, if she were such as you, I'd be a superman, marching to war with cannons on both shoulders. I'd earn mountains of bread. I'd even ride that horse, if she were such as you. Say for the moment that she is. Go on, ride it. I will if it kills me. Don Diego, are you?
you hurt? I? Oh, no, no. Uh, uh, kindly lean off the horse. What's this? Close the gate. Get it off, I told you to avoid the plaza. But my horse bolted. You weakling, stupid fool. Oh. It wasn't his fault. No man but you can hold that horse. Ah, oh, bless you, senorita. I am contrite, a bleeding broken reed. Uh, have you some more bandages you could lend me? What's this blood on your lash? And what's happening here that we should avoid the plaza? Oh, senorita! Mercy, senorita! Get back, you witches! They are rebels, lady, defilers of the law. In what respect have they defiled the law? They... Well, they, they, they don't pay taxes to the king of Spain. Oh, so that's why for five years past the king has received no taxes from Santa Cruz. Yes, lady, but this year he will. I hold them hostage here until their families pay a gold piece each. Open the gate. But they'll never pay a penny. While I rule Santa Cruz, blood shall not balance taxes. Open that gate. But you play into Zorro's hand. They've got the money. Zorro tells them not to pay. It was against the king's tax they rebuilt, led by Zorro. Be still! May the name choke you. Zorro shall pay their taxes with his life. It is hereby decreed that these men, imprisoned here for legal debt, remain in chains until each man's tax is paid. One gold piece buys a man's freedom. Mercy, we have no gold. Here's gold. A fortune for you. Two hundred pieces of gold from the private purse of Lady Isabella Palmer will be placed in this cage as public bounty for the outlaw. The gold will be paid to whoever captures all. And finally, if information leading to Zorro's capture is given by a native, man or woman, all taxes for the year shall be abolished. Your prisoners' sons and all prisoners throughout the province shall go wholly free. We could save them now just by a word. I'll tell them who Zorro is. My life for his. No, no. Shall I betray him? Shall Zorro die for us? No! 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 no, 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 no. We will die first! No! 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 No!
Please. What's this? The tax, sir. The king's tax. Free my son. It's paid. Release her son. Excellentia. Another? Was this a trick? How do you get that money? God, another prison is paid for. Bring my son, I have gold. Please, my son. Please, my son. Please. Goro, we've got him. Turn out. Turn out. Garrison. Go on. Black swine, you're caught at last. Prepare the noose. Guard, bear his neck for the rope. Take off the mask. Be quick, stop fumbling. Oh, Daddy. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, come and help me. Oh, but this was monstrous. You fools that you dare to laugh at him. Let me help you, come and die. Oh, here. Commandante's surprise fiesta for your birthday. A burlesque bullfight. Burlesque indeed. Haven't we seen enough of Doro in this town? Who are those black robed clowns? Zorro. He's raised the family. Is this your idea of entertainment for my birthday? Six fools dressed as my father's murderer? I've seen no more. Come down here. But in five minutes, the real Zorro enters the ring. A welcome birthday present, my lady. Worth five minutes' wait. Unlock the bullpen. Loose the bull. Explain this farce. Where's your matador? Zorro. He is my matador. I've sent a secret courier to all the villagers saying those prisoners would die on the bull's horn. Now Zorro must be here hiding somewhere in the crowd. He couldn't miss this chance to play the hero. And when he does, I'll drag him from the ring and hang him for my lady's birthday present. The trick will work as well without that child. Remove him from the ring. Oh, no, not the child. That's the one lure he can't resist. He loves children. I'll not stain my soil with children's blood to catch a dozen outlaws. Remove that child. <laughs>
a drop of real blood in him for showing me off. Summon your courage, just for one gallant instant. Go, save the child, for my sake. For you, and for freedom in Santa Cruz. <laughs> bless you forever. I called you a coward, and I apologize with all my heart. That was the bravest act I ever saw. Oh, no, truly, I, I am a coward. I lost my head for a moment, and, and now I'll be whipped for it. Stop shamming. You're no fop. You play a part. I? Oh, no, truly, I... And there's a part in Santa Cruz that's wanted playing since my father died. Come to the house. I have plans. You cannot fool me further. Courage and I were comrades all my father's life. Come, what's your secret? My secret? Senorita, will you believe me? Will you trust me if I tell you? Of course, Don Diego. Tell me who you are. I am the village idiot. Oh, confound your mockery. No, lady, it is true. I am possessed, moonstruck, delirious. I am swept with a wild delusion that you might become my wife. The wife. You see? Hopelessly mad. But try and think kindly of me. Humor me just a little. Your beauty is as much to blame as I. I've not had much experience with madmen, sir. How should I humor you? Permit me. I have an insane desire to kiss your hand. I regret my kindness, sir. Madness is catching. Worse than that, dearest one. It's fatal. Betray. Leave my house. Report yourself a prisoner to the guard. I'll hold him here. Ride to the hills. There's a priest in Grey Rock Canyon who knows my secret. I'll join you there. You want me to run away? You must. It's life or death to Santa Cruz. <laughs> Thank you. 
The order doesn't matter. I must have a horse and men to trail the outlaw. Vargas will manage that. He won't even find him. But I know his hiding place, and if I write to meet him, he'll suspect no trick. And if you write to warn him, what then? Both berths are flown. These were the last words my father spoke. Yours, vengeance. Think you in all honor I'd shield my father's murderer? A woman forfeits honor in her lover's arms. And if you keep me here, you forfeit your life. The saints know I hate sorrow. But I'd trade all the swords in Santa Cruz for his. He loves me. He has 3,000 natives at his back. By midnight, they'll be in the town, tearing it stone from stone until I'm free. His natives will seize you, strip you to the skin, and lash the living flesh from off your back with your own whips. Then they'll tie you to the gallows. Pile brush up to your waist. You hear the first crackle of the match. You feel the first flame sting at your flesh. Your legs twist in agony. Your arms are seared. Your screams are yoked in smoke. Your hair, lips, eyes, shriveled in torment. No, stop. I'll hear no more. Laura must not lead the natives. Go with them. Trap the outlaw. And if you fail, I'll fetch you both home. You dance at the gallows wedding. Isabella, beloved. Oh, my dear. Why oh, are you trembling? Oh, don't, Angel. They'll never find you now. We'll hide you in the hills, the priest and I. Then, with the natives at our back, we'll sweep your province clean. So peace shall come at last to Santa Cruz. Peace founded in freedom. Oh, my darling. God make us worthy of such wedding gifts. Isabella, ride to the south. I'll follow. father with this knife. At dawn tomorrow, this same knife will cut the rope under a gallows trap. And so I shall fulfill my father's last request. Remove his silks. Dress him in robe and mask. The gallows jig is better danced in black. Mine. 
vengeance. Is. You said you'd give anything to him who hanged Zorro, remember? Now, will you give Santa Cruz to me by marriage? I marry a sweating, grease brain brute like you? No, never. Then you can spend the night before death in there with your lover. But this is treason. No, lady. This is common sense. You would betray me tomorrow as you betrayed him today. God! Come back here, you! Come down! And go in there. And quick. No. Ah, uh, in. Oh! So that's what you are doing to me. Now go in there. In with you. Carry your body to the edge of town. Make sure she is dead. Then bring the alcalde to witness and record her death legally. Murdered by Zorro. Thanks, outlaw. Comandante. Comandante, the signal fires are burning on the hills. The natives rising. Into the square, all of you. What are the garage? No one comes down these stairs alive. Thanks, dear. I'm all right, Dad. Isabella. This was the mark you left upon my father's head. So you know why I did what I did today. No, that's not my mark. This mark is cut backwards. This is the imprint of them both. Both cut backwards. You've written verse with me. Confess I know my letters. Could I have done that? Can you doubt further when you hold in your hands the murderer's confession signed? The Commandant? The Commandant. God forgive me for what I've done to you in Santa Cruz. Your father's daughter could have done no less. Oh, what have I done? They'll kill you. Oh, what can I do to save you? Quiet, oh, darling. Make sure the Alcalde sees both the girl and the old woman dead, each with a bloody Z. So we can write to Spain that Zorro killed them. Come in, all of you. Find the outlaw. Bring the girl here. No, no. I beg you, Commandante. Mercy. Let her go. No, no. Mercy. Put up the pistol. Don't kill me. God's mercy. No, don't kill me. Still too good for me. <laughs> no. I'll... Marry me? Yes. Tonight? Yes. Giving me Santa Cruz as your dowry? Yes, yes that is it. Good. You hear, outlaw? I'm marrying Santa Cruz just as you planned. And you're going to dance at my wedding. Bring him to the gallows. <laughs> Go ahead. ceremony as fast as you can read. Silence! Begin. Who gives this woman to this man in marriage? Zorro de Goa. Marriage is a most solemn state. Not likely to be entered into oh, by... get to the marrow of it. We have a hanging on our hand. Do I take... Do you, Sebastian Golay, take this woman to be your lawful wife? I do! Do you, Isabella Palmer, take this man... To be your lawful husband? 
She does. And with all her worldly goods, she me endows. Give me your hand. With this ring, I be wet. And you pronounce? And I pronounce you man and wife. Good. Take my wife to my room. And lock her up. Vargas, the news. No, no, stop! Hangman, ready with the knife? Ready! So be it to all murderers and to all rebels against the king of Spain. Look there! What's that? The old hussy from that? Can't be her. Then who is it? Screaming witch! Keep me up sorrow, will you? Hang on, swing your trap!